Welcome back to the expansion rebuild. We are here with the Alaska Blizzard now, boys. In the first episode, we established the franchise, got the team together, made a playoff run, and we are here in year four. We've got Jalen Brown, Jet Howard, who we drafted. You know, he's our young stud. Lonzo Ball on the last year of his contract with us. Jalen Duran, our center. You know, we have a nice team. We're set up really well. We have a lot of first round picks, literally three first round picks in 2027, three first round picks here in 2026. So we are set up to make a championship run run there are so many good players who are free agents right now but we just don't have the money to sign any of these dudes even chris paul 40 year old chris paul he's an 80 overall you want to come on the team as a backup chris we'll offer you the four-year deal he's insulted all right bro just sit there and do nothing then so here's my thing lonzo balls on the last year of his contract with us i'm sure he'll resign i'm sure lonzo will resign with us but i mean i guess we may as well look to see if we can do anything so we have all the draft picks the only thing is lonzo is our starting point guard so if we trade him kind of need a point guard back but teams do want to give us good players for Lonzo nothing jumps out to me here that's crazy so I think we're gonna stick with the team we were a pretty good team last year I like the lineup we've got shooters we do want to fix our power forward spot and I noticed that Baisley is gonna refuse to resign with us I have him for a little bit more so Darius Baisley said he's gonna refuse to resign with us I have him for a team option and it's a really good contract I can get him for 10 million so not really our player I'm looking to trade I just kind of want to have him be a bench player I want like a new starting power forward somebody with a little bit more size I think would be nice but we might need to get there through draft picks or something but for now we'll see how the team does here in year four of the rebuild I want to try to make a really good playoff push this year so we're gonna go to about the trade deadline see how the team does hopefully no major injuries hopefully Jalen Brown doesn't get hurt already are already an injury a sprained ankle I've played through a million of those you can you can handle it my guy so we're set up very 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 well here Cody has the flu dude we're winning like all of our games though our team is really deep so I think if we're healthy going into the playoffs we should be just a solid solid team like we're 14 and 2 here okay here at the trade deadline we did drift back to 37 and 19 but Jalen Brown only missed six games so can't really use injury as an excuse I mean pretty much all of our top players have played most of the season Jet Howard he's our two guard averaging 20 he's missed about 13 games it looks like Baisley's missed a couple games so I mean we have been pretty healthy overall so we can't really blame injuries but Jalen Brown averaging 24 Jalen Duran averaging 20 and jet averaging 20 i like the way the team is looking lonzo with the 10 assists per game seems like our players are playing well we're the two seed here at the trade deadline the thunder they've got shea giddy chet and on yeko okongwu with scoot henderson that is a disgustingly good that's like james harden coming off the bench for them i like this thunder team i don't love that we gotta go against them at some point so we own a lottery protected lakers pick we own the better pick between the pelicans and the bucks the lakers are the worst team in the nba so they're going to have a, they're going to be in the lottery so we're not going to get that draft pick the good news is the lakers are so bad that there's a chance they have a top five pick in next year's draft which we're going to get because lottery protected means if it goes in the lottery we get the pick next year the bucks have the worst record in the eastern conference right now i don't know where Giannis is they've got james harden and john collins on their team so that means we are going to end up with a top pick in the draft this year so we cannot trade we cannot trade that pick that is our most valuable asset right now so i don't really want to trade the Lakers pick because it could be a number one pick next year. I don't want to trade this pick because there's a chance it's the number one pick this year. We also have the Suns pick and our own pick. The Suns are 12th, so that is going to be a very good draft pick. Honestly, and the way the Suns are playing point differential wise, they could draft all the way to 15th. So I don't know if I want to trade that Suns pick either because we're in a position where we literally might have two top three picks. So I think we can only really trade our own pick this year and I think next year. Can we trade our pick next year as well? Okay and maybe we throw in Lonzo I don't know I don't feel like we should trade Lonzo but man nah I don't think Lonzo is not the move but man if we could get something I don't know a new power forward we, we need to upgrade a power forward I feel like I think that will make the team a lot stronger but I'm not seeing any trades that I love Pat Williams he is younger they want us to throw in a third pick though that's top three protected so Pat Williams he's 24 so that's a bit interesting Keegan Murray he's also 25 like Baisley he's higher overall now my problem with Baisley was size and you know weight Keegan 6'8 225 Baisley 6'9 216 I mean they're kind of I just want more size I don't know it is tough with the salaries to make this work though Pat Williams is 6'7 215 so it's a lot of the same concerns I have with Baisley I feel like I'm gonna have with Pat I don't know I guess maybe we stand firm with Baisley I don't know I mean he is you know a good height compared to a lot of his contemporaries like Jaron Jackson's the kind of guy I want but I don't think we're gonna be able to get Jaron to make the salaries work 
Well, Jaren is, a, is an expiring, so maybe... I'm gonna see if the... I feel like the Grizzlies will not do this, but if I load up enough draft picks, would they be interested? <sighs> Yeah, I don't know. I might have to give up one of these more valuable draft picks, but do I want to? I mean, it's a three-star pick. Do I want to give them that? That Lakers pick could be really good. No, they don't want to give me Jaren. Huh, so I don't, I feel like, you know, the thing is, I can't just sit here and like bank on like these picks. Like, I feel like I need to make a move. This team is so close to being title contenders. I feel like we low-key kind of have to really start thinking about, like, you know what I mean? But look at this guy, Derek Atkins. He's the number one player in the draft. He's 6'9 as a point guard. Ceiling is Hall of Fame. Like, this dude could replace Lonzo, and I could use the cap space from losing Lonzo to sign somebody else. And there's, like, a real chance we get the number two pick in the draft. There's also, like, I don't know, man. I feel like I could go all in this season and give myself a good chance at the title. We already have a good chance at the title we're the second best team in the west i think i'm gonna play the long game here and i'm not gonna do this um I'm not gonna make the trades we're gonna keep the picks we just have so many picks that could be really good i don't know oh i really hope i don't come to regret that man and that jared trade would have been perfect i don't know i guess the grizzlies didn't want to take it they don't want to bank on that lakers pick but they don't want to bank on that lakers pick but man i don't know I, I feel like if they made that trade i would really like us and oh my god our starting two guard jet howard broke his left leg but if you guys remember we have anthony black coming off the bench the other two guard we drafted in the same draft who's also a beast so we're set up well to survive injuries to anybody except for Jalen Brown if Jalen Brown gets hurt this team is screwed because like everyone else has a pretty competent backup behind them all right, we finished the year 52 and 30, so a good team. LaMelo Ball won MVP, 32, 6, and 12. Victor Wembenyama, bro, Defensive Player of the Year again. All right. Hey, our boy Jalen Brown made the All-NBA third team. We love to see it. So we enter the playoffs as the number two seed in the Western Conference. We're going against the New Orleans Pelicans. Oh my God, please tell me Zion. Zion is healthy. So they have 96 overall Zion, 88 overall at two guard, 87 overall at small forward. And um, looks like our team's pretty healthy as well though yeah we're healthy right now in these playoffs but i think we're gonna need a game plan for the pelicans because zion is scary i don't think i can guard zion with darius Baisley. so i guess the question is do i want to put my center on him or do i want to put jalen brown on him because i don't think jalen brown can really hang with him either yeah i'm just gonna put my center on him i don't know god zion is so scary now they're two guard lonzo's a 94 overall overall defender so we are ready for this guy ah uh... Oh, yeah, protect the paint against this team. All right, here we go. Playoff series against the Pelicans. I mean, where are the two seeds? So I shouldn't be too scared of them. We win game one by a hefty 17 points. We win game two by a hefty 17 points. We win game three by only 10 points. And that's a 3-1 lead. Hopefully we don't blow it. That's a 4-1. We are in the second round of the playoffs. Wow, looking across the conference, the other expansion team, the Baltimore Blue Crabs, literally being led by DeJounte Murray and DeAndre Ayton and Ben Simmons are your one seed in the East. Wow, okay. You you know what, before this continues, I just gotta take a real quick look because I forgot. The Suns ended up 14th. That's amazing for us. Lakers last. We own the Suns unprotected pick. The Lakers pick is lottery protect. In the East, we own this Milwaukee pick. We own this pick. So, and the Bucks had a worse record than the Lakers. Yikes, bro. We have the best odds at the number one pick. We might get that point guard. We might replace Lonzo. I don't really know if I want to replace Lonzo, but man, we could have both. But in the meantime, we got the Grizzlies. They didn't want to trade us Jaron because they were also going for a championship. They got Jaw, Bain, Jaren. But this is a weaker team than the real life Memphis team. Um, I like our odds here. I like Lonzo matched up against Jaw, Jalen Brown. Yeah. All right. Let's just make some defensive assignments real quick. And then let's let's win this series. I feel like this is a very winnable series for us. I don't know. I guess I'm going to guard Jaren with Jalen Duran. Jalen's a good defender for us. Good, good stuff. All right. Here we go. We take game one. Wow. We won game one by over 50 points. We won game one by 58 points. Jalen Duran, 30. Jalen Brown, 30. 30. Lonzo Ball 24. Jet 22. We're healthy. Wow. We are. We destroyed them game one. Can we keep that for game two? Yep. We win game two, but only by 11. Okay. 3 0. We are, we are cruising through these playoffs. Uh oh. Jet Howard has a sore left knee, but it's only day to day. Let's just leave the rotation as it is. We sweep Memphis. Okay. See, looks like they're headed for a sweep. All right. So we might win the championship here, boys, and we might get the number one pick. This is setting up beautifully, but OKC is our toughest challenge yet. Shea Gilgis Alexander is a killer. 
Josh Giddy. He's a 90 overall. He's a killer. Chet Holmgren and Onyeka Okongwu. This team is going to give us a lot of problem with their size, but man, that small forward matchup, the way Jalen Brown is developed for us, that's going to be tough for them. All right, let's keep it simple. Let's just put Lonzo on Shea. Shea's got that A plus mid range now, but I feel like Shea is still not the guy you kind of want shooting a ton of threes. So we're going to play him a little bit moderate. He's a great finisher though. So we're going to force him into the middle, make him pass out. I don't want Josh Giddy to kill us. He's an A plus three point shooter. Jet Howard's a decent defender, 86 overall, but ah, I don't know. Let's deny the ball here. I feel like we, we don't want Giddy to shoot. We got to just deny the ball from him. Chet, I feel like this is another team where I'm going to put Jalen Duran to guard the other team's power forward because, you know, Chet, bro, Chet's tough. He's got that A three pointer. I don't think he's going to shoot a ton of threes though. So let's see how it goes. I don't know. I think we match up okay with this team. They win game one by eight. Oh no, Jalen Duran has a bruised hip. He can still play though. Hmm. Or can he not play? Oh, but Jet Howard can't play. His injury won't let him play. So that means Anthony's starting in half. But that's the thing. We have nice enough depth that we don't have to play people that aren't good. I'm almost wondering, do we start Cody Wood at the power forward? Just get some more size. Game one. Wow, Scoot Henderson off the bench is so good for them. But their bigs didn't really hurt us. So we're going to keep it how it is. Here we go. Game two. They win game two. Wow. Ha, ah, that Thunder team is crazy. Okay, we win game three. We're in Alaska. Hey, bro, I feel like Alaska would be a hard place to play. We actually won game three by 14 so we're not too bad they win game four dang all right and they beat us 4-1 so the thunder go to the finals the baltimore blue, blue crabs the other expansion team we can't let that team win a championship before us the thunder win the championship so that's the team to beat so we have a huge off season here because we got lonzo ball that we got to bring back we got our picks um, we got a lot of big stuff going on. Here's the draft lottery. This is huge for us. Look at that odds, bro. We have three picks in the top eight. Obviously that Lakers one, we're not gonna get to keep. The freaking Thunder have two picks in the top seven. They have a chance, they have a 14% chance between those two picks to get the number one pick. So we really have to hope the Thunder do not get the number one pick here. Guys, pray that that Bucks pick conveys for us. This could be huge for our franchise. Oh my God. So we got bounced out. Our Phoenix pick got bounced out to number nine. That sucks. Please stick with the Thunder here. Oh no, the Bulls. That means the Thunder have logged into the top four. Wow. So this draft lottery has gone horribly for us. The Lakers with the seventh pick. No, that's actually good for us because that means the Lakers were really, really bad and they didn't get a good pick. So that's actually really good. That means that Lakers pick could be really good again next year. All right. Wow. This is, oh no. Is it us? It's us. No. Is that our via Milwaukee? Wow. So we had the pick from the worst team in the NBA and it doesn't convey. The Thunder end up with the fourth pick in the draft and they're also going to end up with the third pick in the draft. Wow. So we had better picks than the Thunder and we ended up with worse picks. So they've won the championship and they have the fourth and the third pick in the draft. That went so poorly for us. What the fudge. So the Kings have have the number one pick with a 4.8% chance. Oh my God. That could not have gone worse for us. That really could not have gone worse for us. Dude, I want this point guard. I want this point guard really badly. So I think I might try to see if I can make a move with the Kings here. They'll only do this trade for Jalen Brown. Surely there's another way I can get this going, right? I don't really need a bunch of young guns on the team anymore. So maybe I can just trade five and nine for number one pick in the draft. Possibly, possibly. I can throw in my own pick too. I mean, I don't really need Need the last pick in the draft and they don't want to trade me that pick damn all right well here we go nba draft there's no way we're gonna get the point guard i want but surely there's other good players here uh, i'm really struggling with this decision i'm gonna draft jerry page he's a small forward he's 19 so he's on the development track for us um i don't really know if i want this ninth pick honestly i might try to look to trade this ninth pick i feel like we could stock up with more young guys get more depth but i don't know something that can help me win now would be greatly appreciated I don't know how much salary I can take on though, because I don't know if I'm allowed to, I don't know if I have Lonzo's bird rights. I don't think I have Lonzo's bird rights. So I don't know if I can take on too much salary right here, which is the other problem because I'm getting offered some good trades, but I don't know because if I can't re-sign Lonzo, then none of these trades are really useful for me. So I may as well just pick a player, I guess. This guy's a 7'10 wingspan, Andre Burke. We're gonna take him. So that point guard is an 80 overall. He's going to be a monster. 
I wanted him so bad. The Thunder picked up two point guards. Really interesting. They already have Scoot. They already have Shea. Our guy, Jerry Page, he's a 74 overall, but he is only 19. So he has a lot more room to grow than some of these other players. And then our other pick though, he's 22, but he's 78 overall. So he's going to play for us right away. The problem is I have a lot of good centers. I have Jalen Duran. I have Cody Wood. So, I mean, at this point, we have an embarrassment of riches in terms of depths. Obviously, we're going to bring back Darius Baisley. Uh, a lot of guys to bring back on team deals. And we're going to take on a lot of salary soon. Like, we are about to be so over the cap, it's going to be a little disturbing. Um, the good news is if I don't bring back Jalen Duran, it's 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 chilling. All right, so hopefully Lonzo comes back. Hopefully Lonzo comes back. We really need Lonzo to come back. <laughs> Please come back, Lonzo. Yes, Lonzo agrees to come back. We're going to renounce the rights to Shake Milton in the meantime. Wow. So Lonzo's back. And Jaren is a free agent. This is the missing piece of our rebuild but we just we don't have the money to sign him Jalen Duran he's the centerpiece center of our rebuild he's been a huge defensive player for us we're gonna sign him okay so I offered him the big contract he accepts the big contract he's under contract four years 120 million all right dang there's a lot of good players left we are going to be so in over our heads though with luxury tax payments because we have to re-sign Anthony Black and Jet Howard next year Cody Wood is also gonna need a new contract Darius Baisley he's upset so I feel like we got to trade Basically, get a new starter in here before the se well, when the season starts. I don't know. And I feel like we needed a new starter anyway. There were so many matchups where we were moving our center to guard the other team's power forward. So I feel like we do need a bigger power forward to supplement that. But we honestly do have like an embarrassment of riches. Like this guy, Andre Burke, he's not really going to play for us. He's 23, 79, good young player. But I have a 22 year old 84 here in Cody Wood. So I literally might trade Andre Burke off rip here. I've got all these draft picks. Our pick's not going to be very useful. So we're, we'll trade that. And we're just not getting good offers. Isaiah Stewart, he's not going to do much for us. Hmm. Could get Bull Bull. So Bull Bull has the A three-point scoring. He's an okay shooter from everywhere else. He's okay finishing. Uh... I mean, I don't know. I feel like this trade is all right. We get the pick, we get another pick. So we're just gonna add to our pick collection, which is nice. We're gonna have like every pick in the draft. Uh, I feel like I'm selling low on my, this guy who's a rookie. Cause you know, honestly, even if he only ends up being like an 81 overall, 82 overall, I mean, you have him on such a nice contract. There's gonna be on a $10 million contract for four years, basically because of the team option. So factoring that in, I feel like I'm selling a little low on, selling a bit low on him, but I don't know. Bull Bull is kind of what I want for my, power forward he's also under contract again for another year my cap situation is going to be messed up because i have way too much salary committed but i think this is a trade that will help me win the championship this year so i'm going to make it and we have too many players so we have to sign somebody but i don't think i even have enough money to sign anyone to a contract oh i can actually bring on og actually i have enough money to bring on one of these free agents but i don't, I don't really know if i want any of them herb jones is interesting mikhail bridges is interesting i mean 85 overall he only wants $9 million. I can try to bring on Mikel Bridges. And this is nice because this is my backup for Jalen Brown now. He accepts. So, wow. Okay. We don't have the killer, right? We have one guy who's above a 90 overall in Jalen Brown. Jet Howard will get to above 90 overall. And he's going to be the centerpiece of our team probably next year. But I think I got to send Jerry to the G League. Yeah, he needs to develop, bro. He's just not going to get PT on this team. So, here in year five of the Alaska Blizzard, we got Lonzo Ball, Jet Howard, Jalen Brown, Bull Bull, Jalen Duran. Off the bench, Mikel Bridges, Anthony Black, Cody Wood, and Desunmo. Desunmo doesn't even really get PT for us, bro. I'm really wondering, is this superstar trade in the cards for us? I know Desunmo wants to re-sign with us. And Jalen Brown will re-sign with us. So I'm going to offer Jalen Brown his, ex his extension now. He doesn't really want to take a flat deal. But honestly, if I can get him, if I can get him on a flat contract, I feel like why not? He accepts. All right. So I've got Jalen Brown locked up till he's 34. So that's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, AO is the bottom of our bench. And honestly, I don't really think I'm going to have play time for him. So I don't think extending him does a lot for me because uh, my assumption is Jerry Page. Well, I got Mikel not going to be here. Anthony Black will be here. I mean, if I can get to sumo for cheap on a flat deal, like if I can get it for cheap, I don't see the harm in bringing him back.
back. Maybe I gotta throw in the, the bird to the back. Yeah, all right. He accepts. All right, so I've got pretty much the team locked up. Like, Jet's gonna be an R... Is, he's gonna be a restricted, and Anthony's gonna be restricted. So they can't really go anywhere. Worst case, I signed him to one-year deals, which would be scary because of my contract. But if I have to, if I have to, we'll unload Bull Bull, we'll unload somebody else and make it work because we should have really good draft picks this year. All right, this is our time for a championship push. I mean, I don't know. The Thunder beat us 4-1, so we're not quite there with the Thunder, but we're close. I mean, we were in the conference finals, so we're there. So we're gonna go to the end of December. Bull Bull bruises his hip off rip. Wow. Yeah, we don't really have power forwards on the team. It's like the one position we have not really been able to fill, but we're off to an amazing start to the season once again. So it doesn't look like it matters all that much. All right, 35 or so games into the season, we are 25 and nine. That puts us again, number two, right behind the Thunder. They're running back that same team. So we really got to figure out how we can get ahead of this Thunder team, bro. Cause I mean, I, I don't know, they're really good. I don't really see us being better than them. They're literally better than us right now. We got to figure out some way to get ahead of them. So we have five first round picks. We literally need to trade them. There's no reason for us to have that many picks. We have the Lakers, Knicks, Suns, and Magic picks. The Lakers and Suns are kind of eh over here. And the Knicks and the Magic are both in the playoffs. So none of these picks, I mean, I guess I shouldn't trade my Western Conference picks if I can avoid it, but I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with some of these picks, bro, because like, I don't know, man, I need something. Uh, let's see if any other teams are like, even trying to make some trades. All right, I'm gonna go to February 10th, the day before the trade deadline, see if anything changes. Wait, did you, did I just see Jalen Duran is out for the season? What, what, did, what, wait, hold, hold up. Oh, broken vertebrae out for the season. Oh my God, this is our franchise center. He just, so he's out for the season, yikes. Hopefully he comes back a little bit earlier, but I mean, even then we'd have to make a deep playoff run. Wow, that is not good. That is not good. Luckily we have Cody Wood, but unfortunately we traded that center we drafted. So that's not good. I mean, the team is still really good, right? We still have a good center in there. It's not like Duran was that much better than Cody Wood, but I mean, it's just nice having the really good guy come off the bench. All right, shoot, dude, this sucks. This sucks. We're still gonna go the day before the trade deadline. Maybe this is, I don't know, an opportunity for us to open up, make some sort of trade or something. I don't know, man, that. Uh, Ah, oh, Jalen Duran was like our centerpiece for the for the longest before we got the other before we got Jalen Brown in there. That is not good for us. We lose to the Thunder by 33 points and by 13 points over the course of this month. Oh my God! So next season we have so much salary committed already, and we have so much we have to commit to. We have 152 million committed. And look, Chet Howard is going to get like a $50 million per year contract. Anthony Black is going to get like a $40 million per year contract from us. We're about to add like 100 million in salary to this team. And if we want to bring back Mikel Bridges, that's more money. I really don't want to trade Anthony Black and I can't because he's injured with a sore ankle. So I can't even trade him here at the trade deadline. Jerry Page got hurt in the G League. What the heck? Yeah, I don't know what the move here is that's really going to elevate this team to where I want it to go. Like we just need stars. I mean, I guess dude, the Thunder are 48 and eight. They're such a good team. And the Mavericks are right behind us. I think we're going to drop to the three seed with our injuries. I mean, it's, they're just Luca and a bunch of other guys. They're not really a real threat. We're definitely better than them, but man, that is tough. The Lakers are doing bad though. And we got their pick. <laughs> so that's good. Maybe the Lakers will convey for us, but no, all right, we, we, we got to get off some of these draft picks, but we don't need this Knicks pick. Don't need this magic pick. And we really don't need our own pick. The Lakers will give me more draft picks and I own their draft pick this year. So I don't really see how they get much better going forward. So I could bank on the Lakers just being really bad and kicking this down the road. I don't like that. I feel like I'm giving up too many picks. So I'm going to get rid of ours and see what they say. I'm going to bank on the Lakers being really bad and just take these picks. I want to give this team an actual chance at a championship here, but I don't really know how I'm going to do it with my center out, that Thunder team looming. I mean, we're just down too many healthy players right now. It might, it just might not be our year. I don't know. Or hey, the thing is we're playing with injuries on. There's a chance that there's a chance we get a lucky break. That's what's kind of cool with playing injuries on. You know, Jalen Duran, he missed the season. But if you told me that Scoot Henderson or Shea got hurt, I mean, man, I, I'll take us. I'll, I'll take those chances anytime. So we could get lucky here. Jalen Duran is back. Wow, he healed quick. Pro, what did I say? Lucky breaks. Lucky breaks, baby. Lucky breaks. This might be our year. So Victor Wimbanyama won the MVP 31, 16, and 5. That point guard that we wanted, he's, he's he won rookie of the year. He wasn't that crazy, but he still 
want it. Scoot, of course, is the six man. Wow, the Thunder went 70 and 12, bro. That's one of the best all time seasons. Um, Jalen Brown, all NBA second team. Okay, we finished the year 59 and 23. So we're, we actually had a better record than we did last year. Um, really good point differential. So, I mean, we're not quite at the Thunder's level, but we're close over the course of the season. Jalen Brown with 24.8. Jet Howard, our stud shooting guard, who's gonna be the centerpiece of the team, 24.6. And he missed a lot of games, bro. He only played 58 games. We won 59 games with Jalen Duran missing half the season. Jet Howard missing like a third of the season. Yeah, man, I don't know. This this might be our year, bro. This might be our year. We, we cobbled together a great season while being injured. The Utah Jazz. This team is, this team is pretty trash. Let's be honest. We're gonna smoke this team. I don't even think I'm gonna make a game plan for this team. You know what? Simulate round. We sweep them. The Dallas Mavericks. All right, the Mavericks. Did they make a trade? Nope, it's Luka. And it's uh, it's some okay players around Luka. We're what? We're a way better, well-rounded team. We have a deeper bench. I think we're gonna dominate this series versus the Mavericks, but hey man, Luka Magic, you never know. They're scary. Lonzo with a 94 overall defense. I love that. Yeah, let's make Luka go pass out. Luka's so scary, bro. He can do it all, but I don't know. I just feel like that Mavericks team is not well-rounded enough to hang with us. We win game one, two, three, and four. We go into the conference finals undefeated. Our team is on a heater. All right, OKC. This is the team to beat. This is the team to beat. Game one. We win game one. Game two. They win game two. Hey, we're a lot more even this year. We're up 2-1. We're up 3-1. Oh, I hit simulating round. But okay, we're in the finals. We're in the finals. Wow, we smoked OKC. I didn't even make the game plan this year. We're just, we're on such a roll. 4-0, 4-0, 4-1. We got the Charlotte Hornets. LaMelo Ball, who's won an MVP in this sim. Franz Wagner, he's an 88. Rogier, though. Wow, I feel like Rogier is such a bad, like, I didn't even realize. We got the Ball brothers playing against each other in the finals. We could win our first championship. But man, I love us in this matchup, bro. Jalen Duran is going to be guarded by Bobby Portis, who's very undersized. I feel like Franz Wagner, he's a good player, but I like, you know, Jalen Brown being physical, taking it to him. Terry Rozier the third is not guarding Jet Howard, bro. Jet Howard is not going to get guarded by Terry. Lonzo versus LaMelo. I mean, obviously LaMelo's won an MVP in this sim, so LaMelo is a top dog, but Lonzo is a great defender, so he's going to make it tough on him. He's not going to stop him, but he's going to make it tough on him. I, I really like us in this matchup. I really, really like us in this matchup. All right, here we go. Game one, we win game one by about 38 points. Game two, we win. I, I honestly, we're kind of a dominant team. We are a dominant team. Okay, they want, wait, what happened? I said I had to adjust my game plan and then they won a game. Someone get hurt? Anthony Black got hurt. Okay, that should be fine. He is on the bench for us. They won another game. What, is someone getting hurt? What is happening? So Anthony Black is hurt. No one else is hurt? What's going on? Guys, what's going on? All right, game six. We were up three. What is happening? What, what about my game plan needs to be adjusted? I'm really confused. Oh, it's because Black is still in rotation. Okay, yes, we win the championship. We have won it. And we are set up to be a dynasty. <laughs> Lonzo Ball wins finals MVP going against his brother LaMelo. Lonzo with an 18, seven and 11 series. So a really good series from Lonzo. In the NBA finals though, Jalen Brown averaged 28, Jet averaged 27. Both of them were cooking, bro. Everyone on the team shot better than like 50% basically. I mean, we were cooking. Okay, so now here's the thing. We have a we have a real chance to be a real dynasty. So Stephen Curry retired, Drew Holiday retired, Jimmy Butler retired, John Wall retired. How many of these guys are making the Hall of Fame? At least Jimmy and Steph, right? And maybe Drew, Jimmy, Steph, and Drew, Hall of Fame? Just Jimmy and Steph, okay. Wow, and this could be the beginning of our dynasty because we have the second best odds at the number one pick in the draft. Oh my God. We also have the 10th best odds because of the Phoenix Suns. I'm just gonna sim the results. I don't wanna look. Wow, we drop out again. Our luck in the draft lottery has been horrible. We end up with number five and number 11. That's insane. These picks are just not conveying for us. Wow, Mike Stauffer, our head coach, rejected the offer to come back. So we're actually gonna have a new coach now. Um, we win the championship and our coach wants to leave. Awesome. All right, Rudy Thompson running the triangle system. I feel like we need a pace and space type coach. That's who we had before. There is not a lot of good coach candidates, bro. Grit and grind. I feel like that's really not our team style. Stan Romero. All right, Stan, will you come to Alaska? Yes, you will, Stan. Welcome. All right, we've got the fifth pick in the draft. Are we going to do anything with it? Looks like there's some decent players in this draft. God, I don't want a 23 year old though. Maybe we trade our picks. I don't know. I'm getting offered the fourth pick in a top 10 protected pick. Uh, you know what? Let's do it. Let's move up. There's no reason not to, I guess. Maybe I can trade this fourth pick as well. Is there 
any way for me to move up in the draft. If I give that pick, I can move up to the third and then get a lottery protected pick. So there's a lot of losing draft picks, but honestly, the team won the championship. They're young and I have so many guys. I'm going to trade this pick. Is there any way I can keep moving up in this draft? Pick two. And I have to give them a top three protected pick from us. And we are always, we're literally a finals team. I don't even really want our first round picks. It just leads clutter on the roster. Boom. We move up to the second pick in the draft. This is insane. We had the fifth pick and we keep trading it. So now we have the number two pick in the draft. So it's where we should have been based off the, oh, no, no, no. I just sent the NBA draft. Oh my, oh my God, but we picked the best player. We picked the 79, 19 year old. Thank God, thank God, thank freaking God. Tell me more about this guy. Is a shooting guard? We have too many shooting guards, but I can put him at small forward. Okay, perfect. He can be our backup three because we're not gonna bring back Mikel probably. Oh my God, 19 years old, 79 overall. We That's the best pick in the draft. That's 100% the best pick in the draft. All right, that dude, I, oh, why did I just do that? That scared me so bad. All right, Cody Wood, qualifying offers to Jet Howard and Anthony Black. Bro, these are about to be some massive contracts. Victor Wembanyama has 13 offers already. <laughs> He's a restricted free agent. Wow, no offers for Joel Embiid? That's crazy. All right, Jet Howard, bro. This is our boy. We got to bring him back. And Anthony Black, we got to bring him back too. All right, so both Anthony and Jet agree to come back on five-year deals. Got to make sure it doesn't try to do the finesse with the qualify. I don't take the qualifying offer. Oh my God, they're both taking the qualifying offer. Why are they taking the qualifying offer? What What is happening? They both agree to the five Five year and then now they want the qualifying offer why why does this game do this why does this game do this it, they agree to the offer and then they take it back and they agree to the qualifying offer i don't understand if i'm doing something wrong or 2k needs to make the game more simplified but now that sucks because we could lose these guys in free agency next year yeah so now i have them both on these one year deals i could lose them both that sucks i don't i don't really get what 2k does why the 2k does that wow dude joel Embiid, you guys know it's my favorite i really wish there was a way we could get him on the team shay gildress alexander is a free agent agent and i'm just saying man he's got some nice offers from the hawks the heat offered him a one year wait the Cavs offered him one year two and a half million dollars this is a 95 overall these offers are really bad where are the thunder i don't even see the thunder on here so he might be gone oh he signed with somebody oh he signed with the hawks bro shea signed with the hawks this is the best news we got all day the western conference is ours <laughs> The West End Conference is ours. Jalen Brown is starting his decline, but it really doesn't matter. As long as we can bring back Jet Howard and Anthony Black, we are chilling. We are honestly chilling. Oh, Jerry Page is up to a 77. You can't forget about this guy. We have this guy still. We're fine. We're fine. Honestly, we're fine. We're fine. I don't want to freak out. We're fine. Here we go. Try to chant to defend our championship. We've got Lonzo Ball, Jet Howard, Jalen Brown, Bull Bull. Duran the same as last year. Off the bench, we've got Anthony Black, Cody Wood. Our rookie, Conover. He's an 80 overall. Sasunmo and Jerry Page. We're actually going to go 10 players deep this year. Ah, Jerry, I might trade Jerry, actually. I think I might trade Jerry. Yeah. And honestly, I wonder if I can get something for Jerry and AO. I feel bad. AO's been hella loyal to us. He wanted to resign. We got him for a great contract. We got him on the cheap. But I don't know, man. If I can upgrade, I'm going to upgrade. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not I'm not saying I'm going to... I'm not going to... I don't see any upgrades. I mean, this would be an upgrade, but it's not... I don't really like this trade. I mean, yeah, we have AO. I don't know. Maybe I don't need to make a trade. This will just protect me if the team gets hurt. But I want to be able to get playing time for some of these guys. We just have too deep of a roster. Bull Bull wants to test free agency. So I feel like we try to win the championship and then maybe move on from Bull Bull. There's a chance it's the last year the team is together. So there's a lot of drama that could happen this offseason with this team. There is a lot of drama. So let's just go to the trade deadline, see how the team is. I think we're going to run through the Western Conference. We probably should own the conference with Shea out of the conference because he was the, he was the main guy for a team built around him and then he left after they won a championship. So I don't know. I think we're in an amazing position to own the conference. We're off to a really rocky start to the season here, but it's a championship hangover. You know what I'm saying? All right, here at the trade deadline, we are 43 and 15. We must be the number one team. We are the number one team. No, the Pelicans. Whoa. Oh my God. The Pelicans, Anderson Gardner, Zion Williamson, and James Wiseman. What a team. This Pelicans team is our new big rival. The Thunder are still good, but they, I mean, without Shea, I don't really see it for them. This Pelicans team is nasty. All right, so, you know, Jerry Page, who I don't think is really ever going to play for us because we have too many good players, and Bull Bull, who 
wants to leave. I put them into Trade Finder and I got offered this. Taylor Hendricks from the Minnesota Timberwolves. He's an 86 overall power forward under contract for three more seasons. But check this. A plus three point scoring, A perimeter defense, and A post defense. So this actually alleviates a lot of problems I had with Baisley before we traded him. And I have him under contract. So I think this is a great deal for us. Losing Jerry Page kind of sucks, but he's already 21 years old and he's a 78 overall. So, I mean, I think he's going to tap out in the mid 80s. Maybe he gets to high 80s, but either way, I mean, I think this makes us a better team now. And this guy's under contract. I'm going to take this trade. So starting lineup's the same, except we got Hendricks in here now. So, I mean, this is spacing. This is defense. Anthony Black is an 87 overall. So I don't know if we'll be able to keep him because I don't know if he's going to want to play for a team that really can't play him. But if we lose him, bro, this guy's an 81 overall as a 20 year old and he's a rookie. Can't really shoot the three ball, which is not good, but hopefully we can develop him. I don't know. I'd rather keep Anthony Black and Jet Howard because those are our boys, but we did draft this guy number two in the draft. It's just, I didn't really draft him. I accidentally auto drafted him. So I don't feel any type of way about it. <laughs> All right, let's simulate the rest of the season. Hopefully we can catch that Pelicans team. I think we can. All right, we ended up being 62 and 20. Shea Gilgis Alexander, he left the Thunder, goes to the Hawks, wins MVP. Rookie of the year, Anderson Levins Jr. Okay. Um, yeah, our guy wasn't even one of the top scoring rookies, but he did get hurt. He dislocated his right patella, so he's out for the season. But our rookie number two overall pick, mind you, at the bottom of our rotation, so not really getting to play at all. 10 points per game on 46% shooting, really not that bad. Uh, one rebound, two assists per game, so, you know, all right, all right. Again, no. NBA first team players for us. No NBA second team players for us. No all NBA third team players for us. Wow. Okay. We do finish as the number two seed. I almost wonder if we have too many good players to, for anyone to make an all NBA team because Jet Howard with 23 a game, Jalen Brown with 21 a game, Taylor Hendricks nine, about 20 a game. Now we did trade from halfway through the year. Anthony Black 17, Durant. I mean, this team, look at how many guys are in the, the high teens, low 20s. This is a really well rounded team. Like we, we, we are just deadly from all angles. Pelicans went 72 and 10, just like the Thunder did last year. So again, an amazing team. But look at the point differentials. These are both historically high point differentials for both of our teams. So we're actually both historically dominant team. All right, the Houston Rockets. Who's on this Rockets team? It's Jalen Green and it's uh, Sengun still. I think we're going to run this team over. Just make a quick little game plan. You know what I'm saying? Got to show respect where it's due to Jalen Brown or to Jalen Green. He is a beast. We're going to put Lonzo on him. Lonzo is a, still a 94. We're going to make him go to the middle. This dude does not pass. <laughs> Six assists per game. I mean, he passes, but he's not, not like a super dominant playmaker. Now, Shengun is not the biggest guy. So let's see. Duran is an 89 overall defender and Hendricks, who we traded for is an 86. So yeah, we'll keep Duran on him. I think this is a sweep or we win 4-1. I don't want to, I don't want to be too arrogant, but I think that's where we're headed. It's actually a 1-1 series though. 1-2 series. We lose game three by a point. 2-2. Two, two. All right. We're having a little bit of trouble here in the first round. We're up 3-2. Can we close it? We can. We go to round number two. Now we're going against the Spurs. Now I know who's on the Spurs, Luka Doncic. But this Luka team, this is just like the Mavericks team we beat. In fact, they still have Kuzma. So, I mean, we're going to beat the Spurs, probably. And oh my God, the, th the Pelicans lost in the first round. Wow, the Pels lost in the first round. Okay, that is amazing. For We catch a really good break there. I wonder if they had an injury. What happened to them? Wow, Zion broke his nose. I mean, he could play through it, but wow. Okay, that that sucks. All right, uh, it's pretty much Luka by himself. Luka beats us in game one. We win game two. Okay, this is not as easy as a postseason. We're down 2-1, 2-2. This is like, oh, we were in the first round. We're up 3-2, come on. All right, we're in the conference finals again. This is not like last year. Last year, we went fo fo and then we got the OKC Thunder. We're playing them in the conference finals for the third year in a row. But this is not yo mama's Thunder. This is Scoot Henderson, Josh Giddy. Keontae George off the bench is an 87. That is scary. But we got Anthony Black off the bench too. I mean, it's not like our team is a scrub. We also have a dominant shooting guard coming off the bench. And this dude is a stud. He would start on any other team. Yeah, actually, let's guard Giddy with Jalen Brown. Oh, Jalen Brown's only an 85 overall defender too. Huh. Yeah, I'm still going to put Jalen on him. Screw it. All right, here we go. Game one. We take game one. We take game two, three. And yeah, I mean, that Thunder team, we beat them last year and they had Shea. And oh, oh my God. We were so close to playing the other expansion team in the NBA finals. That would have been so hype. And they're really bad. We would have destroyed them. But it is our nemesis, Shea Gilgis Alexander, our absolute nemesis. But his team is not as good.
good as his old Thunder team. I think we should be able to win this series, bro. Yeah, we should be able to win this series. I don't know why he left. That Thunder team he was on is awesome. Now, I've been to Atlanta. Atlanta is a cool city. I mean, if it's a lifestyle thing, I get it. I've never been to OKC, so I don't want to hate on OKC. I've never been there, but I feel like Atlanta's probably a cooler city, if I were to guess. I've been to Atlanta. It's fun, but it's not going to be very fun in Atlanta after we whoop their ass right now. I'll, I'll tell you that. Dude, this team is not that good. Um, all right, Lonzo Ball, 94 overall. Handle that handle that here we go game one the hawks beat us in game one by 13 game two the hawks beat us again shea went up for 36 shot seven threes i am guarding a moderate tightness he's shooting about six a game so i'm gonna switch the i'm gonna switch the coverage on shea man that hawks team is not that good i really feel like all right game three we win after the adjustments game four they win oh oh my oh my oh my cody wood got hurt corn left hand ligament for the season conover is hurt still Ooh, ooh, this is tough this is tough i feel like we're better than this hawks team all right wow uh, come on we're home we can take the 3-1 i don't see why we should lose to this team even with our injuries i mean they're kind of a one-man team all right chipping away at it game by game here we go come on baby we can beat this hawks team we can beat them we should beat them why are we down by 15 we're not going down like this man we can't go down like this and why is jet howard playing power forward what happened to hendrix that's money that's not money. What? Oh, they're killing us on the boards. They're killing us on the boards. Wow, Ben Simmons is bullying us. Where did he get all this confidence from? All right, we're down 17 here. We really got to get something going. Can we do it? Can we do it? They are just taking it at the rim. Oh my God, this team is dominating us on the boards. I think I know why we're losing. We might be a little small after we traded Bull Bull. I mean, but I feel like Hendricks is a good fit for this team. I don't know. This might not be our year. Dude, Ben Simmons is being an alpha against us. It's kind of nerve wracking. Who is this guy? Send me to the end. We are getting blown out. Dude, so we lose the NBA Finals. Shea Gilgis Alexander shot 13 of 16 against us. Wow. Bro, this is Shea Gilgis Alexander's league, and we are just living in it. So we lose 4 2 in the NBA Finals. <sighs> All right, this was good progress for us, though. We made it to our first NBA Finals. We won our first NBA championship. We made it to another Finals, and we lost. I still think this is the start of a dynasty for us. We're going to pick up next episode of our expansion team rebuild. Not even a rebuild, just trying to build the dynasty here in the offseason. This is a huge offseason season because our shooting guards contracts have expired and they are both unrestricted so very scary situation i will see you guys on the next one i'm loving this series smash the like if you're loving this series too guys i'll see you in the next one peace